Women are often told to have babies early. While it's assumed that most men can reproduce well into their 60s and 70s. But is there a biological clock ticking for men too? You'll find out in today's Fertile Minds video. Welcome to Fertile Minds. I'm Dr. Frank Quinn, a fertility specialist here at IVF Australia. My experience lies in reproductive endocrinology and infertility, and I've had the privilege of helping men and women become parents over the last 25 years in Australia. Does the age in fact affect male fertility? To give you some background, a normal semen analysis result will show a sperm count of at least 15 million sperm per mil, with at least a third of those showing fast, progressive forward movement. In a semen analysis, we look for the following features to define sperm health. Firstly, the semen volume the average volume of semen produced in the ejaculate. Sperm concentration, the number of sperm per mil in the semen sample. Motility and morphology, the movement of the sperm and their size and their shape. And also the total sperm number in the ejaculate. We also look at vitality, the percentage of living healthy sperm in the semen sample. Age and male fertility, while men in fact can reproduce well into their 60s, aging sperm unfortunately does have an effect on the health of the offspring. We see an increase in conditions like autism, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, and schizophrenia. The risk of this is 10 times higher for men in their 60s as opposed to men in their 20s. Other risks include genetic diseases such as achondroplasia or dwarfism or APERT syndrome characterised by skeletal abnormalities. When men reach the age of 45, they tend to have higher rates of fertility complications in their sperm volume, motility and morphology, all of them declining. There is also an increased likelihood of damage or breaks into the sperm DNA that may have a negative effect on their fertility. You may be wondering, if the female partner is younger than 35, should you as the male partner over 40 be concerned about your age? Research has revealed significantly lower pre clinical pregnancy rates in men above the age of 40 whose female partners were less than 35. We also know that in those pregnancies, unfortunately, there can be a higher instance of first trimester miscarriage. And those women in pregnancy have a higher instance of premature labour and babies born small for their gestational age. So unfortunately, as men do get older, it can affect the quality of the sperm and the health and outcome of the subsequent pregnancy. So what fertility options are available to men? We certainly know about the fertility options for women. Women concerned about their age may opt to undergo an IVF cycle and through a process of hormonal injections have multiple eggs um, mature, collected and frozen for a later date. But what about the men? Men for a long time have frozen sperm, but usually this has been in an oncological setting. So men diagnosed with cancer, typically testicular cancer, may opt to have sperm frozen before they go through treatment that may affect their fertility at a later date. But there's a growing evidence of research coming together, suggesting that as men age, so does the quality of their sperm decline. And likewise, men perhaps should consider as they get older, do they freeze their sperm to preserve their fertility as women have done in the past. So an interesting fact is that men who have no sperm in their ejaculate may be concerned as to whether they could have sperm to freeze. And in actual fact, some men would have sperm production occurring within the testicles. Through a surgical procedure, oftentimes that occurs under a general anaesthetic, we place a needle into the testicle and aspirate sperm that can be later frozen and used as part of an IVF treatment cycle. Unfortunately, some men will have several semen analysis that come back with suboptimal parameters. And a common question that's asked is what lifestyle factors can they address to try and improve the quality of their sperm? The first of these, without a doubt, 
is to stop smoking. We know smoking can affect the DNA within the sperm. It doesn't cause mutations um, or breaks um, or damages the DNA. It does in a more subtle way. It affects the way that the DNA is packaged within the sperm. And that's associated with a higher instance of miscarriages and also childhood cancers for those children at a later date. So smoking definitely is one thing that will dramatically uh, affect the quality of the sperm and is highly recommended to discontinue. We also know that alcohol in uh, high concentration will affect the quality of the sperm and the ability of their partner to conceive. Other lifestyle factors also include anabolic steroids. In a growing world of Instagram and Facebook when people want to look good, more men are resorting to sort of synthetic ways to improve their looks. But unfortunately, anabolic steroids have a significant detrimental effect on the quality and the amount of sperm. Some men will actually become azospermic or have no sperm from taking anabolic steroids. And even when they stop them, a large percentage of them, their sperm does not recur recover. Other lifestyle factors include weight and exercise. We know that men that are overweight unfortunately have increased fat around their thighs and lower abdomen, which affects the temperature within the scrotum and the testes. The reason that the scrotum is outside the body is to keep it a degree cooler than core temperature to optimise spermatogenesis. So weight also affects sperm quality, concentration and motility. And the men who are trying to start a family and struggling, then exercising and to optimise their weight is strongly encouraged. So I hope you found this video helpful. I always recommend, if you're concerned about your age or your fertility or the quality of your sperm, to make an appointment with a fertility specialist because we're always happy to help. If you would like to see more videos speaking on all things fertility, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Feel free to ask any questions on what I've spoken about today by leaving a comment below.